It's already hot, pushing 35 degrees, when Ahmada starts his one-hour commute to work. The bus takes Ahmada and his colleagues to Al Hall in northeastern Syria. Just outside of Al Hall, there's a camp for 65,000 people displaced by conflict. It's just 10 o'clock in the morning. It is about 40 degrees hot outside there. And this is a life in our home. So this is a emergency room, and especially now with the COVID, we having challenges too hot here. And sometimes we receive a lot of patients, but here we have only four beds. Uh, you can imagine living in the tent when it's plus 50 degrees, you know. It's too hot, you don't have any AC and, and fan to, to keep you calm. So, so also by that time you have a lot of challenge of children with a, a lot of dehydration and things like that. Yeah. Especially with the COVID, you have high fever. The sun is burning you and the, 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 the body fever is too high. So I, I think it's, it's not good at all. Roughly 80% of the people in this camp are women and children. Many of them have pre-existing conditions. We have a lot of children with asthma also problems and uh, some few cases of TB also. Almost like over 100 a day, we are receiving this kind of patient with a lung problem, both children and adults. I'm a health professional, and I've been in a health professional for a long time now. And uh, uh, apart from that, also, I like working with the people. And the reason why I'm here is just to help people. Always I ask myself, what is the purpose of life? And then I came out to find out the purpose of life is just help somebody, please. 